I'm not comparing myself to who I see on my timeline. Mm -hmm. I'm comparing myself to who God says that I am. Yes. Uh, someone I saw a quote the other day that says, I'm just striving every day to be a better me than I was yesterday. I'm mm -hmm. not competing with yep. anyone else. I want to be the best Tasha yep. that I can be. I want to represent Christ in the earth well. Around the year 2010, 2012, somewhere between there, I was ministering at my home church in Atlanta. Going back, my father was a pastor, so I'm a PK. And I remember um, when I was very young, my father would always say, Tasha, stay at the feet of Jesus. Stay at the feet of Jesus. You know, he was a man after God's heart. He loved, he prayed, you know, he always taught the word. He was a strong foundation in our family. But right around the year of 2010, 2012, I went through this season of dark depression. It was a state of darkness. I would go and I would minister around the world. I would come home for three or four days in the dark, literally the curtains closed under the comforter. It, it, got so bad that my cousin, who was my roommate at the time, she said, Tasha, I can't take it. I got to leave. You have to deal with whatever's going on with you. Mm -hmm. And I remember in the middle of the night one night, Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, Tasha, you're dealing with the spirit of rejection. And I wow, want you to wow. get up from where you are. And I need you to study what's happening in your life because I can't allow mm -hmm. you to walk through any of the doors that I have for you until you curse this at the root. Wow. And so I began to study the spirit of rejection. There was a, a song by Jason Upton. It's called spirit of adoption. Mm -hmm. And I would play that song over and over and over, Good. you know, in my ear. And the Lord gave me a declaration to speak over my life that I cursed the spirit of rejection mm -hmm. and I received the spirit of adoption. Mm -hmm. And I remember yes. in that season, the words of my father, who was, he was a man of very few words, but when he spoke, it was very profound. I remembered his words saying, Tasha, stay at the feet of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so I was in that dark place. I was torn about who I was. I was torn about my identity because people People would celebrate, you have this gift, you can sing, mm -hmm. you can minister, you make us feel good. But I would go home and I would be torn. I would be in a dark place with a broken heart. You know, the enemy whispering in my ear, people mm -hmm. don't love you besides, you know, what you have right. to offer, the gift that you have to mm -hmm. give. And so I was torn, I was broken and I was rejected. And my father's words came back to me. And it basically said to me, everything that you need, you're gonna find it at the feet of Jesus. Yes. You will yes. find your identity. You will find find who you are. You will find your sound, your grace, your anointing, mm -hmm. the grace that Come he's on, put preach. on your life at the feet of Jesus. And so today okay. we're going to talk about our God-given identity. Mm -hmm. Because in the world that mm -hmm. we live in now, we must be honest, social media plays a major part. And we see so many people right. who are representing so many different identities. You know, you don't know who they are, but besides what they show you that they are, you know, the cars, right. the houses, the clothes, the diamonds, mm -hmm. real or fake, yeah. <laughs> whatever it is, sure. all we know is what they show us. Yeah. Yeah. People are not going to log on and show you the, their bad days, mm -hmm. that, that mm -hmm. they didn't wake up like this. <laughs> you know, yeah. that Instead, we woke up like this. But the, the, the social media is set up to show us the best, the the, yeah. the crystal, highlight yes, reels. the diamonds, it's highlight reels mm -hmm. of life, but that's not who God has called us to be. It's who you are when the doors are closed, when you're by yourself. Yeah. Are you are you that same person who says God is good all the time and all, all the, the time, time God, God is, is good? good? Do you really believe what you're preaching with your life when it's just you and Him? Mm -hmm. And that's the true identity of who we are. I love this scripture, it's 1 John 3. It says, see what an incredible quality of love the Father has shown to us, that we would yes. be named and called and counted mm. the children of God. Yes. And so we are. I'm not comparing myself to who I see on my timeline. Mm -hmm. I'm comparing myself to who God says that I am. Yes. Uh, someone I saw a quote the other day that says, I'm just striving every day to be a better me than I was yesterday. I'm mm -hmm. not competing with yep. anyone else. I want to be the best Tasha yep. that I can be. I want to represent Christ in the earth well. So mm -hmm. we're talking about our God-given identities and, and our fathers and how they play a part in helping us to understand and know who we are. I believe that that one lesson that I learned from my father, it's one of them, but it's, it's, it's a major lesson. It's, it's to Tasha stay at the 
the feet of Jesus. Yeah. And so no matter what I'm good. going through in life, I'm always thinking about that. What is God saying? You know, it takes me back to the story yes. about Mary and Martha. We talk about this often, especially as worship leaders. This is something that we use as one of our foundational scriptures where Jesus stops by their house. My husband likes to say he was on his tour. Jesus stops by their house. <laughs> and when he walks into Martha's house, mm -hmm. Martha retreats to the kitchen and begins to work for him. There's nothing wrong with, work, with working in the kingdom. But sometimes we have to realize, hey, this is a moment where Jesus has shown up, and I believe I need to sit at his feet and receive instruction yes. about who I am. And so I'll choose Mary's position. That, for yeah. me, that lesson from my father and understanding who Jesus calls me, uh, that is one of the things that helped me through that season, that I've been adopted yeah. into a royal priesthood, yeah. that he calls yes. me his daughter. Yeah. Yeah, wow, that is he so chose powerful. me. So powerful, he chose you. And you know, let's think about it. We get our names from our fathers. Mm, yes. <laughs> yeah. And um, so beautiful. Wow. So his name marks you. Yeah. You know, Jesus. Yeah. And everything you need is in Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, as daughters, we look to our fathers to validate us. Wow. Um, our fathers yes. really determine how we feel about ourselves, if we're beautiful or not, if we're good enough Ooh, or not. so good. You know, and so it is so important that we understand that our Heavenly Father gives us our identity. He gives us His name. Yes. Yes. In every situation, yes. doesn't matter where you come from. You know, when we look throughout the scriptures of the women, when we look at, when we talk about worship, when we look at the woman who recognized who Jesus was, because when you recognize him, you begin to know who you are. That's yes, the, that's that's the right, only yeah. time you're gonna know Absolutely. your true identity is that's when you so recognize good. him, mm -hmm. so you true. know? And so when she recognized him, she understood that, yeah, I, I belong here. Even when, the, even when yes. the men in the room didn't understand it, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> yeah. but, but she also knew what he deserved, you know? Oh, wow. Right. And, um, right. and so that is a beautiful thing to what you just shared, yeah. Tasha, um, about your God-given identity because the devil, that's yeah. what he comes for. Yeah. He comes to steal mm -hmm. your identity. Absolutely. He comes to steal, kill, and yeah. destroy. But if he can mm -hmm. steal your identity, then he's got you. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Then yeah. he can bring in depression. Yeah. He can bring in all those mm -hmm. things because it's a lie, you know? But wow. when you understand that I am the daughter of the king, yeah. you know, when, when Esther on. understood who she was, Come on. <laughs> yeah. Watch out. That's Watch right. out. Mm -hmm. um, That's understanding right. your identity really gives you the clarity of your purpose. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.